Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly uh, reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for Virgo. How's Virgo coming into the reading? Okay, so coffee cup. All right, so you're meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Maybe you've got some uh, meeting up with your friends or meeting new friends or um, maybe you're getting, you know, uh, networking also. Getting out there, meeting new people here. Let's see. What else is going on for Virgo? What's going on for Virgo? I heard like you're networking maybe for business for some of you. Let's see. Okay, so you're you're resting in the energy of abundance, overflow. You have a lot. You're keeping a positive mindset and you're trying to manifest what you really want. And it could be love, unconditional love, you know. Um, this is self-love, oneness and passion, affection and attraction. And that's what you really want. That's what you have to give. So it's like you're putting yourself out there so possibly it can come back to you. All right, so what else is going on for Virgo right now? Okay, self-indulgence, focusing on yourself, your self-worth, your healing, your shadow side, and self-appreciation. All the self-love and abundance and maybe even meeting new people. Maybe you were in a relationship that really did not lend to maybe you thinking highly of yourself maybe someone treated you poorly therefore you start to take on that energy either um mentally emotionally maybe even physically you felt like okay if they're treating me less than then i might be less than so it's now you keeping a positive mindset reshaping reforming how you think about yourself in a relationship um and it could even it, you know some people want to you know write this off as self-esteem like oh your self-esteem was low and maybe it could have been it could even be that you you look amazing you know on the outside so we're not talking about someone who just you know doesn't care for themselves or or whatnot but if i look amazing but this person is still treating me like shit then what does that really have anything to do with it? There's no direct correlation. You know, so it's like anybody who looks any way can get treated any type of way, especially if you are beautiful. So it's like more so somebody was really um, beating you down by way of their way of treating you. And um, you knew that you deserved more, but you accepted less. So it was more so like, really pouring more love and energy back into you because you were dealing with something that was just contrary to what it is you deserve and what you knew you deserved all right we're gonna get two more cards for what's going on with virgo this mic wants to just do mic stuff that's why i don't like mics mike no like mics like people name mike no i'm joking <laughs> um let's see i like my corny joke all right corny jerk time okay um what's going on for virgo the phoenix very nice so this is a new phase renewal transformation growth and you've changed your mind about something or someone here the phoenix rising from the ashes you dealt with some bullshit some somebody that really put you through the ringer someone who did not care for you like they said they did they said things or they did things or they made you feel a certain way or question yourself or maybe even your self-worth it was just all together BS and it was just like more so pulling yourself out of this. The Phoenix rising from the ashes. Very nice, the runner. So you might have even been in a relationship where somebody was the runner. They were running from you. They didn't want your love. They didn't want it the way you were giving it to them. They wanted it when you when they wanted it. They didn't want it how you wanted to give it to them each and every day. They wanted it, you know, some days, maybe on Monday. You know, I'll take a little bit of your love on Friday. And uh, good luck catching me on the other days because I am the runner. And that's how they showed up in the relationship. Uh, the fear of intimacy, you know, listening to their ego. Um, maybe they even felt like they could find better than you. Or this is you, Virgo. Let's see what um, the Kipper has to say. What's the energy for Virgo moving forward? Okay, yes, unexpected money coming to you unexpected income so this is money that you make so you do something for this money and then people pay you that is what income is you exchange your time for money this card can also come out when there's an unexpected message coming your way all right so maybe someone will text you call you 
Um, and it's, and it's like out of the blue. It's like, well, I ain't talked to you in forever. All right. Yeah, maybe someone wants to gift you with something. Somebody wants to reconcile. I think because you pulled your energy back here. Um, maybe around the next holiday, whatever that may be for you in your respective country, state, town. Um, yeah, maybe they want the relationship back. You might even be gifted with maybe meeting someone new who gives you new love, new relationship. This could even be friendship for some of you. But you're being gifted with something from the heavens. Yeah, something that you manifested with uh the distant horizon card so it's like it's going to come true for you very nice this could come by way of being in community you did have a coffee cup card so meeting new people meeting new friends new groups of people that could even introduce you to someone hey i think you'd be good for this or good for this person meet them um this could just could even be just hanging around different groups of people here uh yeah you can meet somebody official or it's over with that. Um, I don't like the official man because if you read the, the actual book that comes with the cards, you know, he deals with you officially. Um, you know, the, it's not uh, informal. It's, you know, this is a person who might even give you like one word answers and, you know, all have you all up, all up in your head thinking, overthinking what they mean or what they're doing. Um, this is somebody who's dedicated to themselves, their business, money making. It could be over definitely over with this person and now you're on to great fortune high honor and maybe even marrying someone or at least being in a close relationship and the person who it was all this hard work with is going to be spying on you because now you're the privileged lady she's married to the wealthy man in this deck wow as i say that um this person may have to watch you get married to somebody else or be in a relationship with someone else I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this reading resonated for you, Virgo. If it did, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also just go over to the website and book. But before that, go to the community tab here uh, on, on YouTube, pull a discount code and then go book your reading. Phone readings are the best, but I do have a 10 minute video recorded reading if you want to get something. Um, this is what I have for you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.